Hello Facebook friends and YouTube friends. I'm Jacob Lenhoff here. Y'all know me from YouTube. I'm going to show you a very special video here. Um, this is a two-part video. Um, I went down to um, downtown Hamilton recently and met a woman named Melissa Hannon. She's a very talented painter. She paints everything from landscapes to Star Wars characters. It's a very, she's very, very, very talented. Uh, you're going to see a two-part video here. Um, you're going to see my interview with Melissa, and she's going to show off her paintings. Quite a few paintings, and they're not even a fourth of what all she's done. Also, I'm going to show you how you could uh, see some of Melissa's other works. Uh, Melissa has a Facebook page. Let me show it to you here. Melissa Hannon, if you go to Facebook, go on Facebook and type in Melissa Hannon Art. You'll see Melissa Hannon's Facebook page and, you know, you can check out more of her drawings and stuff or more of her paintings. So, here's part one of my interview with Melissa Hannon. Take a look. Hi, tell us your name here and uh, what do you do? I'm Melissa Hannon and I'm an artist. And, ha and all these things, I want to show some of these things here. All these paintings and drawings were uh, done by you. Yeah. And it looks like, judging by the stuff I see on the seats and everything, that's, only, that's not even a fourth of what you've done. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you've done um, quite a bit. Um, now, how'd you get interested in drawing? I, I've been drawing ever since I was a little kid, ever since I was like five. Can you remember the first thing you drew? I mean, what's the first bad drawing you did? And what's the first good one? Wonder Woman, both times. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, what kind did you, when you did Wonder Woman, was she like your like favorite like superhero? You would yeah. be like Wonder Woman or? Yes. <laughs> okay. What was it about? What, how did you like draw her? Basically, you had like, you had to draw the stars and the stripes and all yeah. that stuff. Did you enter that into like a talent show or anything like that when you drew it? No, but my mom had like boxes full of just Wonder Woman when I was little. <laughs> really? Like yeah. comic books and all that yeah. stuff? Yeah, just by drawings Oh. from when I was little, like boxes full of them. How that many drawings my main did you, subject. How many drawings did you have Wonder Woman? Can you have an estimate? Oh, hundreds. <laughs> hundreds. That was the only thing I would draw forever. <laughs> Never tried Batman or Superman mm -hmm. or anything like that? No. <laughs> okay, now I want to show, let's go over and see some of your drawings here. Um, I want to focus on this one for a minute. Okay. We'll focus on this drawing. Now, everyone can see this drawing here, this woman in the red dress. Um, where did you get the inspiration from? It, that one was really just from my head. I really just wanted to do something with more autumn colors, and I just painted that from my mind. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, so, so how long it take? Well, first of all, um, how did you select the colors here, and... Where'd you get the idea for the red hair and stuff like that? Like, where'd you get the, get the colors? I mean, what kind? Of, what did you use? Like marker? Um... That is actually my. It's an acrylic painting, and it's one of my first attempts at acrylic painting. I okay, what's know. acrylic? It's uh, just a type of paint that dries a lot faster. I usually paint in oil, mm -hmm. and the, it's just a different style of paint. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now for the woman though, I was wondering, this is really a nice little picture, you know, beautiful red hair, um, beautiful dress here. It looks like yeah, kind of yeah, yellowish, like pinkish kind of, purplish kind of mix. Was there any women like your mother or any relatives or anyone you've seen on the street that was inspiration for that character? Sure, my mother is a big inspiration for a lot of my pieces and I feel like a lot of my pieces look like her. Okay, was this like, does, did that remind you of a dress you wore when you were growing up or something, or? I, that dress actually came from, it was more of a picture in a magazine I saw the dress from, mm -hmm. and I went with that, but the definitely the lady does resemble my mother, only my mother didn't have red hair. I went with the red hair because of the, I wanted it to reflect autumn, like kind of rainy autumn. Thing. This is obviously kind of some memories from childhood because this woman's got a younger look to her. So your mother is obviously probably like your mother, your, mother, your mom from childhood, basically. Yes, my mother passed away when I was like 22. So wow. She's been a big inspiration to my art. Um, okay, now this one, I was wanting to go. Now, I talked to somebody. I want to talk to you. I was talking to your uh, husband over there. And uh, I was going to talk to you about this drawing. This drawing really caught my attention. Now, if anyone here has seen Gone with the Wind, um, Butterfly McQueen played a uh, servant of Scarlet's. She had a really, really mousy kind of voice, kind of describe it. She told Scarlet she know know about birthing and babies, like when Scarlet's cousin was pregnant and in dire need of care. 
and started slapping her. But Butterfly McQueen played the servant. It, it, it's not her, but this would remind me of the servant from Gone with the Wind, Butterfly McQueen's character. Um, who was this supposed to be? It's actually a photograph from uh, Vogue's cover story, um, the magazine Vogue. Uh, I just drew it off of a picture that was in there from a photographer that I really admired. Oh, so you kind of like, just, you, you like put it up and you just like look down and kind of yeah. did your best to try to duplicate it. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Did pretty good. Thank well, I didn't see the actual, the actual, I didn't see the actual, you know, the actual, the original thing, but you yeah. know, it was a pretty good drawing. Yeah, thank you. There's part one of Melissa Hand there. There's a part two coming soon, so please keep watching. I'm Jacob Lindhoff. Thank you for watching.